main event. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. Possibly the sternest test of Gary Turner's chin. Professional boxer Julius Francis. But then if he survives that, it'll be Julius that'll be put to the test. And there you are, Mal. You were right. You called it well. Gary's using his low kicks, possibly looking to take the fight to ground. He definitely wants to spot on the ground. He dove right into that clinch. And Francis defended the takedown. Yes, and put a couple of short right hooks into the body there. Well, to add on that, Julius Francis has been working with a fantastic res wrestling coach, Rob Solsky. Renowned through the UK for being a fantastic coach. And he's been working on a sprawl and brawl game with Julius. Keep it upright and use what weapons that are to your advantage. Sprawl and brawl, I like that, Steve. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the game plan. Uh, with someone like Julius Francis, who spent so many years on his feet, in the training for his debut at age... 43 years old you you don't want to give him too much information so what i'm seeing is that coach gave him just the right amount that's right doing good job of sprawling just there looking for the underhook but turner runs him to his back and the crowd get excited with that this is going to be a problem for francis a big guy like this he's not going to have a lot of agility he's not going to know what to do with his guard he's not going to probably know how to defend himself against the ground and pound because in a gym preparing for a fight guys aren't going to really try and clock you as hard as, they, as we'll hear it now this is not good but francis being that he is the heavier fighter could roll if his corner would tell him to do that but i was just about to say for all the places that he could have gone down he's gone down in probably one of the safest just there by his corner with his corner calling instruction julius should try and hook Gary's left leg and rolling. As you can see, he is trying to roll there, but, yeah, but he doesn't have a very exper inexperienced way, Stu. Yeah, he doesn't have the legs control, though. So uh, all Gary has to do is put his leg off to the side and he blocks the roll. For me, guys, this is game plan. Julius Francis keeps Gary in tight, holds it till the ref stands him up, he's back where he wants to be. Yeah, but Gary's going for a while. He was going for a key lock there for a second. But in an arm wrestling contest right now, the key lock is not going to work out because Francis is so strong with those arms, he can just pop his way out of a key lock for now. Look at that. <laughs> what do we call that? The, the uh, Three Stooges punch? <laughs> I mean, you coined the Captain Kirk punch. That'll be the Three Stooges punch. <laughs> But you're right, I think, Rev, that he, this is exactly what Julius is trying to force that upright maneuver from Grant. And what, uh, here it comes, yeah, here it comes, Steve. Exactly, exactly. Gary might have wanted to use the cross space, get the forearm in Press front up. of Francis and push him back down, but that didn't happen. Francis is breathing very heavy now. Oh, clash of shins. There's Julius, a good, good reply with the, the kick there to Gary. Francis knows how to block kicks because he was a kickboxer as well. But he ate a knee there. Knee. That hurts him. That knee that hurt, hurt him bad. Him. That was a big knee that saw Francis fall to his back. I, I think Gary should stay inside now. I think Gary's looking at him almost mercifully. Uh, Gary gave him a bottle of Kavasi at the weigh-in. Oh, it might help Julius numb the pain afterwards, Steve. Yeah. Julius again in a bad position with a minute 15 left. See, this is where inexperience comes in. Because all Julius has to do is try to roll, but then Gary might go for his back. But he's just laying on his back. I think he's recovering from that knee. But will Gary try any kind of a submission from this position? Submissions are, are tough here. I mean, he could try, pop into an arm bar, but then he, he may face getting rolled over onto like this now this is a good move by francis but turner flipping him back on his, on his back and rob you saw how tired julius was after that first attempt how tired is he going to be after this i think he's going to be exhausted to be honest with you mate he turned up well but it seemed as though he didn't stand to his feet quick enough and now gary turner's making him pay gary turner could really think about doing an arm bar here he really could. If he could trap that right arm and get it, get it a good figure four with his arms around it, he could fall back, but it's a risk. If he just stays in, in, in control here for the mount, he could just run and pound. 
And let's be honest, he has controlled the round thoroughly here. And into the closing seconds of the rounds, guys. Smart game plan by Turner here in the first round. One round all Gary Turner. You wonder how much has Julius Francis got left. Also in terms, boys, let's be honest, of desire as well. I think he's got the desire, but does he have the cardio? And I'm thinking no. He may totally run out of gas here in the second round. Gary may play it safe and get him on his back again, but Gary may also try and kickbox with him and, no, you, ready? you know, you ready? give Let's some fight. excitement to the crowd. But see, that's where the risk is. He stands on his feet. Francis would probably just a one-shot solution. See, for me, I'd like to see Francis start to throw. Get Gary on his back foot. Get him aware that you've got those hands. Let those hands go. Yeah, I agree, Rob. Yeah. We haven't seen much of Julius's hands at all. Yeah. That kick and it hurts, Steve, you can tell. Yeah, usually boxing matches are 8, 10, 12. They used to be 15 rounds. And you can't really do a warm-up round in MMA with a three-round fight. That's right. I'd like to see him let that right hand go. We know he's got the power there. At 43 years old and not the tip-top party of shape, he can't really just jump in there and start throwing bombs because Turner is going to have the foot speed advantage in this fight. But I agree with Rob Steve, with the fact that you know that your cardio is going, there's a sense of almost having to go for broke here and let those arms go. You do. I mean, he does. But in doing that, he will deplete what's left in the gas tank, and he knows that. That's why he's hanging back. He's hanging back because he wants Turner to make the move and counterpunch him, because he knows in the counterpunch war he'll probably beat the superior striker. But Turner's not buying into that. The crowd may get restless, but the fighters have to do what they've got to do. Front kick from Francis. Nice kick in retaliation from Turner. They close the distance. Turner possibly looking again for a takedown, but Julius has both underhooks in. If Julius were confident in his ground game because Turner's standing up so straight, he could take Turner down and put him on his back with a simple trip. Very yes. comfortably. Yeah, because Turner was standing up too straight there, but Julius is so new at the game, he doesn't know that. But will we see a guillotine finish here? A good knee came in the middle there. Julius going for the leg after that knee. Julius literally sinking after that knee, mate. I think he just dropped to his own knees from that big knee to the body. Holding on to that leg, not actually driving. He needs to pull that leg to him and push that shoulder He's in. He's tapped. He's tapped. He's had enough. It's all He's over. It's all over. He didn't want to take any more there. Lack of experience on the ground there. Yeah. That knee sunk in. He was completely out of gas. He knew he was going to get either choked out or smashed. And that big knee that sunk straight up through the center, hit him straight in the body. I think that was all that she wrote for Julius Francis. Gary Turner, onwards and upwards, another big heavyweight win for Turner. In retrospect here, do you feel that Julius will regret not letting those hands go? Well, yes and no, but usually, I mean, this is an outcome that we expected, really. Because usually when boxers go into MMA, they get taken down and, you know, they get, you know, put on their back like this. And, you know, you know, it was, you know, plus the, the age thing, he wasn't in great shape. You know, we could see that. And again, as you mentioned, Stephen, Turner didn't take the